As we all know, there are four main contenders when it comes to virtual reality. We have the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift on the PC, the upcoming PlayStation VR, and of course the Samsung Gear VR for mobile. But now Google is entering the ring and competing with that very same Gear VR, with the newly announced VR headset Daydream View. It's coming out this November and will be compatible with a series of daydream ready phones made by a variety of Android manufacturers. The first ones will be Google's Pixel and Pixel XL smartphones but there will be third party devices to follow. And as you'd expect the daydream view does work in a similar way to that of the Gear VR and that you put your phone in the headset but apparently, according to Google, it is 30% lighter than similar devices, which is definitely a plus side given that you're wearing it on your face. It will come with its own Daydream controller, which is a two-button remote which you can use to point at objects in the world, wave like a wand or swing like a bat, I guess kind of like a Wiimote-esque kind of device here which could be potentially interesting and maybe you'd just be able to use it like a remote clicker like say if you're just using it to watch films on Netflix or something to just kind of switch oh I'm bored of watching this one or something else perhaps that will have that most likely have that sort of utilization as well it's going to be launching in a grey colour but there's going to be other colours available on in the UK, US and Australia and um, what's really cool is that Mike Bithell who you probably know for Thomas Was Alone and Volume noted that they will be making a game for the Daydream View called Earthshape and it is a arcadey puzzler. However we also have games such as Wonderglade, Gunjack 2, Lego Brickheads, Mechorama, Need for Speed, Earthshape, that's all of course, Danger Goat, Home Run Derby and Hungry Shark World coming out on the Daydream View. So this particular device is going to be out in November as I already said and the pricing is actually pretty damn good. It's actually a little bit cheaper than the Gear VR at least here in the UK. In the US it's going to be $79, in Canada it's going to be $99, in the UK it's going to be £69, in Germany it's going to be €69 Euros. and in Australia as always they do kind of get bent over a barrel bit here as it will cost 119 Australian dollars. This will be pre-orders on October the 20th um, for the US, but no reserve date has yet been announced for the UK. Now this is pretty interesting as of course if you are interested in a device like the Gear VR, it might actually be more of an option if you weren't willing to make the jump over to a Samsung phone powerful enough to run the headset, which I believe is 6S onwards if I remember off the top of my head. Uh, it actually opens up mobile VR to more people because if you just have like another Android device that is powerful enough to run VR then of course you have the option of the daydream view and um, I was actually thinking of getting the Gear VR myself because I have problems with fear of flying and this could actually help with that anxiety and whatnot but uh, it might actually might be worth considering the daydream view as of course that can be used with any phone it doesn't necessarily have to be a Samsung or a Google phone so it definitely is interesting to have such a sort of flexible competitor entering the market of course it does give Samsung a bit of a run for their money potentially of course how well this device ends up doing in a very very busy November month well that remains to be seen I don't think you know, against the competition of like PS4 Pro and all the games and yada yada yada, this is going to be flying off the shelves, but I think it'll probably do well as of course VR has been gaining a bit of hype, and of course this is locked to a mobile device which does of course limit it somewhat, but it is a very affordable option for many people who perhaps weren't willing to make the jump over to Samsung, assuming of course that they have an Android device. Love to hear your thoughts and opinions as always though guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.